Hello and welcome to Charlotte for race 8 in the Pro Core Cup Series. Today we start the round of 8 in the first ever Pro Core Cup Series playoffs. Let's take a look at the drivers to watch for for today. First up, it's Joey Logano. He starts on the pole for today's race and is not in the playoffs. Next up, we have MTJ, a playoff driver who won the first time we came to Charlotte this season. Then we have Denny Hamlin, a non-playoff driver who won the All-Star Race last week. And finally, we have William Byron, who won the last points race and is in the playoffs. Now let's take a look at the playoff drivers who are signified with a white banner on their windshield. Kevin Harvick starts third and is one point to the good. Kyle Busch starting off in sixth and is five points to the good. Martin Truex Jr. starts eighth and is one point back. Kyle Larson rolls off in 10th and is one point back as well. Ryan Blaney starts 11th and is 10 points to the good. William Byron starts 12th and with his regular season dominance, he is 11 points to the good. Brad Keselowski rolls off in 13th and is 5 points back. And finally, Clint Boyer starts 15th and is 1 point back. As the drivers roll off of pit row, let's take a look at your starting lineup. In row one, it's Joey Logano and Chase Elliott. Then in row two, we have Kevin Harvick and Alex Bowman. In row three, it's Austin Dillon and Kyle Busch. In row four, it's Kurt Busch and Martin Truex Jr. In row five, it's Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson. In row six, it's Ryan Blaney and William Byron. In row seven, it's Brad Keselowski and Matt DiBenedetto. In row eight, we have Clint Boyer and Eric Almarola teammates. In row nine, it's Eric Jones and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Row 10, we have Chris Buescher and Jimmy Johnson. In row 11, it's Ryan Newman and Daniel Suarez. In row 12, we have Corey LaJoy making his first start and Ty Dillon. And finally, rounding off the field, we have the 21 of Paul Menard. Stages 1 and 2 will be 3 laps each, and the final stage is 4 laps for a 10 lap race. The pace car pulls onto pit row, and we are ready to go racing in the round of eight. Joey Logano leads the field off of turn two, and here comes Austin Dillon. Side by side for the lead, and Austin Dillon will lead lap number one. Kyle Busch now looking to get by Joey Logano for second. Chase Elliott puts Brad Keselowski into the wall aggressively. Obviously, Elliott still not happy with Brad. One lap to go on the stage, and Busch is starting to catch Austin Dillon. Out of turn four, Busch is going to have a run. Side by side of the line, Austin Dillon, followed by Kyle Busch, Larson, Blaney, Boyer, Harvick, Hamlin, Elliott, Logano, Busher, and Kyle Larson is around in turn two. The caution is out here on lap four. Here's a replay. It looks like Blaney got into Larson. Blaney just carried a bit too much momentum into turn two and got into the back of Larson, and that was enough to send him around. Lucky that Larson didn't clip Boyer or Hamlin. Kyle Larson is now on pit row, assessing the damage to see if he can continue. I doubt it, though. Brad Keselowski also on pit row, getting repairs from the incident with Elliott. Let's see why Elliott was upset with Keselowski. We'll get there. William Byron will win at Martinsville. Last Keselowski. week, Elliott had a runoff of four, and Keselowski put him in the wall. This is important because if Elliott had gotten by Keselowski, then Chase Elliott would be in the playoffs and not Brad. Kyle Larson is now officially out of the race, but as of stage one, he has two points to the good. Kyle Busch currently runs first, and he is 9 points to the good. Ryan Blaney is currently third, and is 12 points to the good. Clint Boyer will restart in fifth, and he is 2 points back. Kevin Harvick is currently seventh, and he is also 2 points back. William Byron is currently 11th, and he is 5 points to the good. Martin Truex Jr. currently 13th, not having the best day, and he is 8 points back. Brad Keselowski will restart 24th, and he is 12 points back. We are ready to restart here with one lap to go in stage number two. The pace car pulls onto pit row. Kyle Busch leads the field back to green. 
Borsch is clear for the lead. He's blocking both lanes, trying to maintain that lead for two more corners. Out of turn number four, Kyle Busch wins stage two, followed by Blaney, Harvick, Boyer, Dylan, Kurt Busch, Elliott, Hamlin, Byron, Almirola. Kyle Busch now with a nice gap over Blaney. Nice gap, no! Uh, Ryan Blaney is now right there, and he's going on the inside for the lead. Ryan Blaney leads at Charlotte with two and a half laps to go. Now Kurt trying to take second away from his brother. Almirola now takes third with two laps remaining here at Charlotte. Kyle Busch back to the inside, three wide for second. Kyle Busch prevails, and he will now set his sights on Ryan Blaney. A nice corner for the 18 there, but the 12 still leads. White flag in the air. Off of turn two. Better corner for the 12. One more chance for Busch. He's not going to get there, and this win's going to punch his ticket to the championship for Ryan Blaney wins at Charlotte. That is going to be his third win of the season, and he is moving on to the championship for the shot at the championship. Kyle Busch came up just short in second, but he will be 35 points to the good with one race until the championship four. Clint Boyer had a very nice race and earned some stage points, which is what he desperately needed to end his very long cold streak. However, not a great finish. Brad Keselowski, not a great day for him, and he might have to win in order to make the championship four next week. One driver is already in. Seven drivers fight for three spots at the Los Angeles Roval next week. Which three drivers will join Ryan Blaney in the championship four? We will see you next week for the Los Angeles Roval.